Thousands gathered in St. Peter's Square to see Pope Francis make seven saints, among them Pope Paul VI, who oversaw one of the most turbulent periods of modern Catholic Church history in the 1960s and 70s. Also canonized is Archbishop Oscar Romero, killed by a right-wing death squad while preaching in El Salvador 38 years ago. It is wonderful that together with him and the other new saints today, there is Archbishop Romero, who left the security of the world, even his own safety, in order to live his life according to the gospel, close to the poor and to his people, with a heart drawn to Jesus and his brothers and sisters. Ostensibly, his canonization was for a medical miracle, curing Cecilia Flores of a life-threatening illness. But for her and many other Salvadorans, he's much more. He's a person who fought for El Salvador and continues fighting and continues to intercede for the country. A brave man who defended life, defended the family, defended the most needy. That's what he means to me. They revere him for speaking out for social justice and defending them against repression from the military-led right-wing government in the 1970s and 80s. Conservatives, however, saw him as a spokesman for the left wing. He knew that that put him in danger. I will not abandon my people, but along with them, I will run all the risks that my ministry demands. The archbishop remained a divisive figure even after his murder, and it took the intervention of Pope Francis to ensure his sainthood, to the delight of these supporters in El Salvador. To me, it's a joy because every time I visit the crypt, I feel he's still alive because for me, he didn't die. It's a big joy. I have tears. I'm not too old, but I grew up following the steps of Monsignor Romero. It's a big joy. El Salvador eventually emerged from civil war. Many are hoping their new saint will guide them as they tackle the violence and injustice that continue to blight their country. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera.